Hi guys, it's Miss Philbin here and I'm going to explain to you how you're going to set up your ePortfolio for your ICT lessons. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you are in Google Chrome. You must open up Google Chrome, this will not work in Internet Explorer. So you'll find it in Start All Programs in the long list, you'll find the words Google Chrome and you open it up and you should have a window that looks kind of similar to this. Your next step is to go to ICT with Miss P. So it's ICT with Miss P. Co.uk. And then if you scroll down, there is a red box that says Robert Clack Apps, and you're going to click on that. Now, we've got two different types of options here. We've got Google Documents that some of you um, have been using before. If you're in Year 7, then this may be new to you. And we also have Google Sites. So we're going to use Robert Clack Sites, Google Sites today. So you're going to click on the green button, and then you're going to log in using your um, username and password. If you've forgotten this, then you need to speak to your teacher. So I'm just going to log in here as um, Luke. Okay, And then it says you're in Google Sites and it says you want to create a site. So I'm going to use the red create button and to click on that to create my site. The next thing is you're going to click on browse the gallery for more. And you'll see in here it says Robert Clack ePortfolio and you're going to click on that. Okay, and then you can scroll down and hit the blue select button. Right, you're going to need to name your site, so you need to give it your school username. Okay, so if, as the account I'm using at the moment, my name's Luke Skywalker, then I'm going to use my Luke. Right, the first four letters of your first name and the last four letters of your surname. And it will give you the name of the site. And then, that's it. You ha can click create and it will make your ePortfolio in the sites. And it takes a little while, so you're going to have to be patient. Once um, it's finished loading, you'll have your site in this page. It's got the name, and if you click on it, it will open up the template for your ePortfolio. And in here, this is where you can edit things like place your student name, because obviously you need to put your name in here. So to edit a page, you click on the button that looks like a little pencil, and it will let you change things. So where it's got place your student name, Luke can put Luke Skywalker. Okay, and then he can put in his form, um, the name of the class. So maybe he is in Seven Gates. Um, his ICT teacher might be me. And then he can start reading through everything that's on here, like um, what you can do next to personalise your page. And you'll notice if you scroll to the bottom, there's a section that says ICT badges and awards. So in here, as you collect and unlock badges through the work that you do in class, and maybe if you do some extra things, like some really good homework or something that's really creative, your teacher will award you badges and you'll be able to display them on this page. So this is your page, this is your front page, the page that everyone will see when they come to this website that has all your work on it. And so it's your responsibility to kind of make it look good and think about what you're going to put on it. Um, I've also put in an example page underneath that for where your work will go. So at the moment this is just an example page, but for your first unit you will be able to edit this page. Um, you can change the name of it, so maybe you're doing an e-safety unit, maybe you're doing web design, maybe in graphics, you would put this in here. And then you can add your work using these links. Okay. So remember this is how you edit, you click on the editing button, once you've finished editing you click save. Right, and we use these to navigate through your website. On this left hand side I've put some links to your school email, to the Robert Clack VLE, um, to ICT with Miss P and also there's a link to a website that will give you some more information on how you can use Google Sites and what you can do. So if you want to work on this outside of school, maybe there's a badge you want to unlock, then um, that's how you would go about doing it. Good luck!